Hey everybody! Um, what's up? Uh, my name's Sierra. Sierra Miller. And I'm 16 years old. Let me shut my door. I'm 16 years old and uh, I want to talk about something with y'all. So, um, I'm at Fiddle with my hair a lot. Sorry. It's just a habit I have. I know I'm trying to get off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Okay, so, I might look, you know, average, right? Like, a normal girl. <laughs> Not normal. What is normal, anyway? I don't think normal's defined. Um, but anyway, um, but I have something inside me. I have a chronic lung disease called cystic fibrosis. You might have heard of it, but if you haven't, then it's great because I'm about to tell you some about it. And then if you want to, you can do your own research on it and maybe help fund it some. Um, fund finding a cure. I'm going to be blind after this video though because this light is is so blinding, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm distracted. Um, I'm like, uh, anyway, no mind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, so I wrote this letter um, because I think that's like the best way to do this is like to write a letter and then read it because um, thinking of all this stuff in my head and then saying it that's that's hard. Um, just talking about it all of a sudden. But anyway, here I go. Okay, having cystic fibrosis has ups and downs. The downs are that you have to limit the places you can go to and the people you can be around at certain times. Like when you're with a bunch of people in a public place, say at an outside concert, you smell cigarette smoke. Um, you need to like immediately leave. Um, people that smoke tend to always have the smells of smoke stained in their house and clothes. And it never goes away unless that person stops smoking completely. But even if they do sm stop smoking, it will still take a very long time to get out the smell. If a CF patient even just smells smoke on clothes, then it does affect them. Don't think it doesn't, because it, it does. It really does. It's called secondhand smoke. And I actually have this paper up here. Um, I'll put it in the description. Just some of the little information about the secondary smoke. So, look down the description box. And i am put different information about CF and links to it and everything like that. So, look down there. After you watch the video and read all that stuff. Um, Alright. So, I homeschool also. That is a reason why I am as healthy as I am. I look healthy, right? I, I'm healthy. I'm happy. <laughs> um, even though I'm sick right now. But... Anyway, I'm happy. Um, if I was the am, I have never had to be hospitalized. I came close, but the staph infection that I had in my lungs, um, I got it out. <laughs> I beat it. Um, but public schools are one of the most bacteria-filled places in the world. Um, not a good place for me. <laughs> <coughs> but... I will be going to college, but I will not, I will just have to be careful and use that sanitizer. It's, I have some, ha, sanitizer, yeah. Um, I don't know, um, uh, see, I'm weird. Uh, there are also, um, times when CF causes coughing fits, and it really hurts, and it gets very, uh, just, annoying and tiring when it causes you to be awake all night especially when in public and you're coughing you get looks like oh like oh oh gosh oh she's coughing ew <laughs> uh, um well, I am actually guilty of giving those looks but it's much more of a chance for me to get something from others than for me to give something to someone I mean that's really how it is Unless two people with CF are close to each other, 
like two CF patients are close to each other. Um, but unless it's siblings, like sister and brother, sister, sister, brother, brother, with cystic fibrosis, it's different um, because they can't, it's kind of like connection. Like you don't, they don't, they, they have the same, I don't know. It's confusing. It is, it is confusing. Um, <coughs> um, I know, but I do not see having cystic fibrosis as a letdown. I see it as a privilege. That it's a privilege that God gave me because he gave me this disease to make me strong and stronger and to inspire others and show them that if I can do one thing, then why can't they? So, uh, there's some things that I can't do, you know, um, it probably, I would, you know, I'd, I'd consider being a doctor, but it's probably not the best thing for me to do, probably not the best career for me to go after, because I'd be around sick people, and it would just be a very risky, risky thing for me to do, um, but I would really like to help sick people, but I, sometimes I can't, um, this could prevent me from doing it, unless they find a cure, and then I could be a doctor. Um, unless they find a cure for it, get enough money, and find a cure, that'd be great. Um, but seriously, um, anyone can do something if they want to, really want to. Um, I really thank God for this disease that He give, that He has given me. It has made me stronger. And, and really see my purpose in life. I hope and pray that people I know and others will find their purpose. Um, I keep losing my spot, sorry, because the light is like blinding me. Because no matter who you are, you do have a purpose. <coughs> now, this might be an advantage, I guess, in people, a lot of people's minds these days, that... I can pretty much eat however much I want in a day because CF patients have a very high metabolism and most CF patients can become um, disproportioned to their bodies when young but eventually they grow into it. I have a very high appetite. I love food. Food is so amazing. It's, it's so great. Um, food is my favorite thing in the world. Um, so. I can keep my weight up pretty good. Cystic fibrosis is found in approximately 1 in every 29 Americans. Approximately 7,000 people in the United Kingdom have cystic fibrosis. There are 49 different gene mutations of cystic fibrosis. My mutation is the most common one. Um, it is Delta F508. Um, sounds like an airplane flight number, right? <laughs> That's what I always thought. But all you CFers out there, keep going, keep dreaming, because you can do pretty much anything if you really go for it and you really want it. You can do anything. It, the sky's the limit. No, nothing is the limit. The sky isn't the limit. The sky is way down below the limit. The limit is anything. You can go to space if you want to. I just spit. Sorry. You can go to space. I think that'd be so awesome to go to space. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, don't let CF get you down. Don't let anything get you down. If you're going through some sort of, like, trial in your life, don't let it get you down. You just have to look at the bright things that you have in life and the good things you have in life. Um, and I really hope that I can and will inspire many, many others, many other people in my many years to come. Um, uh, that's it. That's all the letter. Um, so, <coughs> so basically, um, let me show you something. I do my vest. See, that's my vest, and I put that on, put the hoses on it, and it's basically like an air pressure thing that shakes you 
It's like, ah, that's what I sound like when I'm doing it. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I have my pills to take. I have them, I have them in this little pill box. See? Let's see, I have vitamin C, source CF, which is an A deck, vitamin A, D, E, and K. And, um, I, I'm actually in a, on an antibiotic right now called Bactrim. <coughs> <coughs> and I take this antibiotic regularly that help prevents inflammation in my lungs. And, um, I take that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And not usually. And I take Zyrtec and vitamin D. Vitamin D. <laughs> vitamin D for extra, like, you know, I could go out and tan or whatever, but that's extra. I need that extra vitamin D. Um, and, uh, let's see, what else do I do? Well, while I do my vest, while I do my vest, see, I have the pressure, like the first, you can't see it, oh, first 10 minutes is on frequency 10, and then second is 12, and then 14, and then the pressure would be on 6, 5, and then 4. And I'll do it for 10 minutes. So, I'll do my best for 30 minutes. I get a little shaken up after. Um, I'm all shook up. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, but I do my albuterol in the morning, my hypertonic saline, which is pretty much the ocean going in my lungs. <laughs> like salt water, salt air. Uh, from the ocean, and uh, it's pretty cool actually. Because <laughs> um, when I'm at the beach, I just clear out. It's so awesome. I love going to the beach. That's why I like going to the beach because it really helps me. And um, so, and then I do. Um, <coughs> yeah. Um. At night, I do the hypertonic. I do albuterol inhaler, and um, <coughs> gosh, um, but um, that's attractive. <laughs> um, but uh, and then I do inhaler and the hypertonic saline, and then I do pomazine at night, which is a cold medicine, and it uh, it um. It, uh, I can't remember exactly what it does. Uh, sorry. Uh, um, but, uh, like, it breaks up the mucus inside my lungs, maybe. And the hypertonic saline, you know how you put salt on a slug? That's what my mucus is doing inside my lungs. It's acting like a slug, and the medicine is salt, like, melting it. Um, but anyway... I don't want to make this video too long. It's already up to like 13 minutes. <laughs> okay, anyway. Well, for those of you that watch this, I thank you. Thank you so much for watching this. And my weirdness and awkwardness. Um. <laughs> <coughs> but, um. Thank you. Um. I also. Also. Um. But yeah, I'm going to post that. Secondary smoke information, some just some of it on the description video, and I'm gonna post some links for you. You know, like Cystic Fibrosis donation page, mine, my donation page. If you'd like to make a donation, I love it. Heart. I don't know. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. Post some information facts about CF. So thank you for watching this. Um, bye. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> bye. <laughs>